Hi, hello and welcome. Color coding is a very intuitive way to enhance the visual experience. It will make it easier to understand the visual. Not only that, uh, custom colors will help emphasize the specific data set. So it will make easier for the users to interpret the data and direct the viewer's attention to important values, ensuring the critical information is not overlooked. We can easily achieve this through visual calculations for a clustered column chart or a stacked column chart or a bar chart. So let's see how to do that. Hi, my name is Vinayak Panchaman. Welcome to Data Daily. Okay, now we have a stacked column chart over here wherein we have the month name from the date table in our x-axis and total line sales measure in our y-axis. It's a simple measure. We are calculating the total sales from the sales orders table, which is our fact table. So the intention over here is to color the maximum value in the series uh, with a different color and the minimum value in a different color and all the other bars in a different color so that it's very intuitive for the users to identify the max and the min value okay so we also have the filters over here for the years and we also have filters for regions so let's see how to do that let's go to the click on this uh, visual and go to the new calculation which is our visual cal calculation click on this one and we have to create three measures the first measure which would run through the total line sales and pick the minimum value and populate it over here and the same way we'll make another measure where it will run through this total line sales and pick the maximum value and store it over here and we'll also make third measure which will run through the min and maximum values which we have calculated and fill the rest of the bars uh, rest of the values so that the other bars could be colored and we go to the format pane go to the data label and change the colors for all the three categories that's what we are going to do so let's start with the first calculation wherein we are going to calculate the minimum value so to do that i'll just click on click it or click over here and min value is equal to the i'll write a if function over here and open the parenthesis min x function it will iterate it's an iterator function it should iterate through the rows of total sales it's rows of total sales uh, measure what we have over here it will run through that column and close the parenthesis is equal to total line sales So hit enter so now this will run through this particular total uh, line sales measure and pick the minimum value and put it over here the same way we can also calculate the maximum value to do that it's the same measure instead of min we are going to change it to max max value if max x function run through the rows of total line sales close the parenthesis total line sales the same calculation instead of min it's max right now okay we also need another measure wherein it will run through these two min and max values Other values if I'll keep an OR function over here let me run through the open the parenthesis run through the minimum value check if it is not equal to 0 and run through the max
max value check if it is not zero it is written blank if not total line sales close the parenthesis so we have a problem over here let's see what it is okay we have not closed the parenthesis here i'm closing it so it's it's running through the min uh, column and the max column and uh, what it's gonna do is if there is a value over here in the min if it is if there is a value then it's gonna return blank if not it will return the total line sales so hit enter so if there is a value over here it will return blank the same way it will run through the max value and return blank if there is a value so that's it that's all we need we need three measures from here and now let's go back to the formatting over here if you look at the y-axis we have a messy thing over here it also shows the line sales uh, bars so we go ahead and hide this one okay now we have uh, the min and the max value and all the three categories over here so let's go to the format pane and click on the columns and go to the max value change this to green sales is good so let's keep it as green and for the min value let's keep it as a something like a red over here and for the other values let's keep it as a gray tone so that it doesn't pop up so that's it fantastic so we have we can guide the users to immediately look at where we have a max value and the min value we can also do something over here we can go to the data labels and switch this off we don't need two labels over here we have already have total labels so we can show the total labels and it will easily identify which is the min and the max over here so it's a fantastic thing you can easily achieve this with the visual level calculations if you enjoyed this video please do subscribe see you in the next one